stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your love, for your support. If you are new to the channel, you're highly and very welcome. If you have not subscribed already, please, I would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel already, and then hit on the bell to get an update whenever I upload a new video. If you want to register for my online classes, you can just see my number scrolling through the screen. Send me a message on WhatsApp. I'll give you the details of all of the classes we have presently available okay so you can follow me on all of my social media platforms facebook pinterest instagram all at stylish niger and then if in today's video not and then in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to sew a an attached train yeah so it's an attached train that's what i'm going to show you how to do you can see them in, you can see it on the picture on the thumbnail and then they actually help to add more elegance on a dress so that's what we're going to be learning how to do today it is a simple project so this is the fabric i'm going to be making use of this is satin fabric i have about three yards of this fabric that i'm going to be making use of so there are different ones you can decide to gather some some you can just decide to place it here a little bit small and then just drop it so that's what we're going to learn how to do today so guys so let's just get started <laughs> okay, so you can see how I folded my fabric. So I just folded it at an angle. So this part, I'm going to hold this part so then I need to do. So I don't want it to be too wide, so I'm just going to check what I have. I have about 17 inches, so that is okay. I'll just mark it. And then the next thing, I'm going to measure the length that I want. So for the length, I want it to be 60, so I want it to be long. I want it to flow very well. Okay. So I just okay, so I have about 56 years, so I'm just going to stop it in 56 because 60 it did not enter this side, so I'll just put it like this. I'll check this other side also. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, put it my tape here, and then I'll measure that 50, 56 that I have and see. So you can see that it's going to get to like here. Look at this, which is okay. So I'm going to add crinoline to the down part of it, so to give it structure. So the next thing I'm going to cut is open. So I'll open here and then cut here. So I'll do that now. And then, okay, let me just get my scissors and let's, let's cut out. Okay, so I'm just trying to adjust something. So I'm going to cut now. So I don't want it straight. So you can see I'm just giving it like a curve. Like this, just like a curve. So I've cut that out and then I'm going to use this slant on the side to cut. I'm going to, I'm trying to shape it a little bit more. So what I'm doing, what I'm doing, I'm just trying to reduce, reduce this top part a little bit more. So because I'm going to add the crinoline to it, so I'm going to open the side and then I'll take it back to the machine and show you how I'm going to sew it and form it in the crinoline. So I'll open it from the side. Alright, 
Okay, so guys, welcome to our sewing machine. So you know our train has been divided into two. So this side train, what we're going to do now, the right sides are facing each other. The right sides are facing facing each other. So this here is what I'm going to do. So for this, I really don't need much. So this is the crinoline that I'm going to be making use of. So you can actually make use of any crinoline of your choice. So this one is about 3.5 inches crinoline. So I'm going to show you how to finish it up with a crinoline hem. So I'm going to take this like this. I'll place them so the two, their right sides are facing each other. And then I'm going to place my crinoline like this. So I've, I place the crinoline. So I just left a little bit of inch on the side. You understand? So I pulled it a little bit inwards. And then I'm going to start stitching it down. So I'm stitching both of them together. The two right sides. It's my crinoline on top of it. So as I stitch along, I'm not going to pull, I'm just stitching. I'm just going to stop it again, just like half of an inch before I get to the to the hem, to that to the sides. And then I'm going to open this up like this. I'll open this up, and then my crinoline. So I'm going to turn it to this side. I want to do a top stitch here. So you see my crinoline it has fit here. So I'll do a top stitch here, like this, just to secure it. So as, I, as I do that, I'm going to make sure I want it to be really neat and straight. So I'm just going to keep trying to secure it. So I use, I'm using my hands to like open it up so it will be neat and straight. Okay. that you see what we have so you can see how the down part is looking good so but before then we're going to stitch this we're going to join the side side that we're going to join all of the side so that was why i left this part a little bit so i'm going to stitch so for this part you can decide to to cover it up so for this i'm just going to use my candle to just secure that part and then i'm going to join the side that half of an inch that i left initially while I was stitching my crinoline down. So I'm just going to continue. So I'll stitch it both for both sides and then I'll take it back to my ironing table, iron it properly, and then I'll bring it back and show you how it looks like. Okay, so at the end of the day, you can see how beautiful our train is looking like. So for this, I decided to make it a detachable train. Sorry. Okay, so at the end of the day, so the down part, the measurement that I used, I forgot to mention it, is about um, 30 inches. Okay. And then the top part, after stitching, what I have here is about 7 inches. So this I decided to make it into a detachable one. So I'm using pins. So you can start to stitch it with your needle and your thread. So I'm just going to hold it together like this. So 
and then you can attach it however you want to attach it around the waist around the waist part like this after attaching i'm just going to I'm just going to cover it up like this so you can see how beautiful it is looking so you see how beautiful it is you can see how the trailer looks like so guys so thank you so much if you find this video helpful please click on the like button and if you have not subscribed to my channel already please subscribe thank you so much guys i'll see you in my next video bye